In this video, we are going to discuss about digital computers. Particularly, we are going to discuss about introduction on digital computers, block diagram of digital computer, definition of computer organization, computer design and computer architecture. Let's first discuss about introduction on digital computer. The digital computer is a digital system that performs various computational tasks. Digital computers use the binary number system which has two digits 0 and 1. These binary digits are known as bits. In digital computers, information is represented in groups of bits. That is, in digital computers, information is represented in groups of zeros and ones. By using various coding techniques, these groups of bits can be made to represent not only binary numbers but also discrete symbols such as decimal digits and letters of alphabets. A computer system is divided into two functional entities, hardware and software. The hardware of the computer system consists of all electronic components and electromechanical devices that comprise the physical entity of the device. Whereas computer software consists of instructions and data that computer manipulates to perform various data processing tasks. Let us now discuss about basic terms related to digital computer. The basic terminologies are program, database, system software and application software. Program is a sequence of instructions for the computer. Where is database? The data that are manipulated by the program constitute the database. Next basic terminology is system software. System software consists of collection of programs whose purpose is to make effective use of the computer. System software is required to coordinate all the activities of the computer system. The well known example for system software is operating system. Its only role is to coordinate activities of all the computer resources. Next one is application software. Application software is written by user for the purpose of solving particular problems. Usually application software allows users to do things like creating text documents, playing games, listening to music or surfing the web. Let's now discuss about block diagram of digital computer. This diagram illustrates block diagram of digital computer. That is the digital computer consists of the major components such as random access memory, central processing unit, input output processor, input device and output device. The very important component of digital computer is central processing unit that is CPU. The CPU it consists of three important components which are ALU, registers and control unit. Okay, that is central processing unit it consists of three important components such as arithmetic and logic unit, registers and control unit. That is arithmetic and logic unit that is ALU unit it is used for manipulating data whereas registers are used for storing data. Control unit is used for directing other components of the computer to perform certain actions such as fetching and execution of instructions. The next important component of a digital computer is memory unit. We can classify the memory unit into two types, main memory and secondary memory. Main memory it is used for storing instructions and data. It is also called as random access memory because CPU can access any memory location at random. 
at and can retrieve information on fixed interval of time the next uh, memory unit is secondary memory secondary memories are non volatile memory and it is used for permanent storage of large amount of data and program examples for secondary memory are hard disk floppy disk and magnetic tape the next important component of a digital computer is input and output processor it contains electronic circuits for communicating and controlling the transfer of information between computer and outside world next one is input devices input devices are used for sending information to a computer system for processing example for input devices are keyboards mouse microphone and webcam and next important component of a digital computer is output devices output devices are used for reproducing and displaying the results of processing examples for output devices are monitor projector speaker etc now let's discuss about definition of computer organization computer organization is concerned with the way the hardware components operate and the way they are connected together to form the computer system the next important definition is computer design computer design is concerned with the hardware design of the computer that is it is concerned with the determination of what hardware should be used and how the parts should be connected once the computer specifications are formulated it is the task of the designer to develop the hardware for the system the next important definition is computer architecture computer architecture is concerned with the structure and behavior of the computer it includes that is computer architecture includes instruction formats the instruction set and techniques for addressing memory the architectural design of a computer system is concerned with the specification of the various functional modules such as processors and memories and structuring them together into a computer system uh, two basic types of computer architectures are von neumann architecture and hardware architecture now let's discuss about von neumann architecture the vast majority of computers in use today operate according to the von neumann architecture von neumann architecture is based on the stored program computer concept where instructions and data are stored in the same memory that is if the if the computer architecture is based on stored program concept then there used to be only one memory which is used to for storing both instructions and data together okay this architecture has only one bus which is used to for both data transfer and instruction fetch since there is only one memory is used to for storing both instructions and data it is sufficient to use only one bus for transferring data as well as for ins fetching instruction therefore data transfer and instruction fetches should be scheduled as they can't be performed at the same time von neumann envisaged the structure of the computer system as being composed of the following components it is random access memory arithmetic and logic unit control unit and man machine interfaces now you can observe that these components takes place in the block diagram of the digital computer okay that's why almost all types of computers in use today are based on von neumann architecture this example for von neumann architecture is desktop personal computers now let's discuss about hardware architecture the hardware architecture uses two different memories one memory is used for storing instructions and another memory is used for storing data in a computer with hardware architecture the cpu can read both an instruction and data from memory at the same time using two different buses 
that is instruction bus and data bus since it uses two different bus it leads to double the memory bandwidth okay, examples for hardware architecture are microcontroller based computer systems and dsp that is digital signal processor based computer systems in this video we have learnt about introduction on digital computers block diagram of digital computer and important definitions such as computer design computer organization and computer architecture if you find this video is useful to you kindly subscribe this channel thanks for watching